Hi guys, it's Monica. I want to talk to you about taurine, which is a really hot button issue. Uh, but first, if you don't know me, I've been formulating raw and cooked canine diets for approximately 20 years with a huge focus on proactive nutrition. So here's what we're seeing with taurine. Um, you've probably heard about it. Your friends are probably talking about it. It's all over social media. Um, and dogs are coming down with dilated cardiomyopathy, which is a heart disease. And it is suspected that food is involved in the sense of diets that are um, contain peas, legumes, sometimes potatoes. It hasn't been proven. Everyone is all up in arms. But the fact is that it really none of this has been proven. It's speculative. The one thing that a lot of these dogs have in common is also something that I've written about, I've blogged about, we've talked about it on the page. Um, I want to bring it to your attention because it is critical, in my opinion, and that is the amount of food that is being fed. So here's what I need you to consider. Oh, and please, first, um, if you have a friend that has been affected by all this, that is worried, feel free to tag, okay? We're going to talk about this. Um, comment if you'd like. I'm going to come back and, uh, and, and talk with you about this, try to answer your questions. So it, taurine is uh, comprised of, or the dog can make it, with two amino acids that are in the food, cysteine and methionine. The problem is when we feed less food, we are of course also feeding less of these two nutrients, less of all nutrients. So here is the reality for the majority of dogs eating commercial diets. The bag will say feed one cup to two cups a day for a dog that weighs this to that amount. The reality is that most, most people do not feed that amount. They feed far less. I can use my own dog as an example when I was feeding kibble. My guy is super low maintenance on calories and on top of it, he gets a lot of treats. Not from me. Don't blame me. It's my husband. Anyway, uh, what happens is he is supposed to be eating three quarters of a cup a day according to the manufacturer. What he's actually able to eat without gaining weight is one third of a cup of day. So consider the difference in nutrients that he's getting if he was eating one third of a cup when he's supposed to eat three quarters of a cup. And people suspect that manufacturers uh, put these guidelines in there to try and sell more food. But really, it's based on the way that the food has been formulated. So yes, they will give you some wiggle room. If you need to feed a little bit less, your dog is probably going to be okay. But if you need to feed quite a bit less, no, you, you have to expect that it's going to backfire because the dog is not getting the nutrients that he or she needs in the amounts that are needed. So what's happened over the years is that foods have become richer, more calorie dense. Once we removed uh, grains from the diet and now we're saying we don't like peas and we don't like legumes and we don't like potatoes and otherwise we consider them to be fillers, then what happens is we are left with protein and fat. Well, if you have a fairly high fat diet, the dog is going to need far less of it in order to maintain their weight. So how happy are they eating that tiny amount of food? Probably not very, right? You'd be hungry too. But more than that is the nutrient values. This is the big problem. Okay, so uh, there's been a trend that makes this even more concerning. And that trend, while I applaud it, can backfire. And that is, let's remove some of the kibble and add fresh food. That's a great thing. I'm all for fresh food, obviously. But if you're already feeding far less than you should, according to the manufacturer, you are not going to replace the nutrients that you're removing by adding some broccoli or by adding a sardine. And again, I, I, I love those additions, uh, but it's got to be done a little bit more thoughtfully. You have to know that your dog is getting the required vitamins and minerals before you start t removing more food. Imagine my little guy with only having a third of a cup of, of kibble to begin with, now having a lot of that removed in order to add fresh food. So what's the answer? The answer is to either do another kibble, something with fewer calories per cup so that your dog can eat more that will meet their, their need. Uh, or if you're going to take the proactive route, and again, huge applause for that. In fact, uh, we offer a proactive uh, consultation for exactly that reason, because we've got uh, people who want to do this right and have seen things backfire 
and want to want to make it right for their next dog. Okay, so um, I'm gonna check comments. Don't forget to like this. Don't forget to get back to me with your thoughts. And I'm happy to continue the conversation. Hope this has been helpful for you guys.